All right, so let's make a quick and easy recording. So you're going to go to track, new. That's how you create a new track. So in this case, we want to record with a microphone. Um, and so we want one new mono audio track in sample. So all the defaults are good. So go ahead and hit create. And uh, the the audio one, this is the name of the track. We're just going to double click on it, double click on it and give it a new name. We're going to call this practice. Like so. All right. So there's a couple things we can get rid of. So these things here, we're, we don't really want these to be showing up. So if they do show up, I'll show you how to get rid of them. Um, the first thing we got to do is change the default so it's in minutes and seconds, not bars and beats, because we're not doing music quite yet. So we just want minutes and seconds. So this one is the default um, because this is in bars and beats. If we ch click here and we change this to minutes and seconds, you can see now that this minutes and seconds is the default, which is what we want. Now, the rest of these we can get rid of if they're showing up, holding down your option key and just click on them and they will go away. If you ever want them to come back, there's a little black drop down, you know, black box, click on that black box and you can say, all right, I want the tempo to show up. If you want them to go away, hold down your option key and click on it. All right, so we want only just minutes and seconds. So you got the name of the track. Um, the the IO column, if you do not see this IO column, this little white box right here indicates what columns you can see. So I'm going to turn them all on. I'm going to click on all and boom, there are all the columns that are possible. Comments, mic prees, instruments, inserts, inserts, sends, sends, and IO. This gets to be a little much. So we can, you know, do minimal. So minimal turns them basically all off and you get the track color, which is fine. But what we want is make sure we have IO, at least IO. IO means in and out. In and out is always from the top down what comes in and then what goes out in the bottom. So this is the input. What is What are you using to record sound with? What's coming in? Well, you're using the mic. We set that up in the previous one. What, do, what are you listening with? What's the output? You need to be on headphones. If this is ever grayed out like like that, no input, then you won't hear a thing. All right, so make sure that that's not grayed out. Um, so make sure you have output headphones like so. Okay, so if you record enable your track, which is this little white button here, it's the record enable button, you should tap on your mic and hopefully you can hear things on your microphone. So. Yep, test, test, test. Yep, there we go. I'm getting some input. So as you tap on the mic, getting input. Okay, so you might need to increase your input knob on your interface for no, for input number one. It's probably it should be around three o'clock or four o'clock in order to get good input. All right, so that's how you check the input and output settings. Now to do a quick recording. The numeric key is uh, over there, the, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 keys on the right hand side that's in a square grid. Those are called the numeric numbers. So you want to press numeric 3 to record. Numeric 3 starts recording. You'll see that this is, this is showing red. That means it's recording. This also indicates it's recording here um, and it's recording and playing. Okay, test, 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 test. Just do some test lines. Space part to stop. Okay, it stops. Now you hit return twice. And that'll put your playhead. This is your playhead right here. It'll put it back to the beginning. Okay, space part to play it back, and you should be able to hear it through your headphones. Numeric three starts recording. You'll see that this is this is showing red. That means it's recording. This also indicates it's recording here, um, and it's recording and playing. Okay, test, 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 like that. Okay, so practice that. Uh, so to, to do it over and over again, what you do is just 
get your hand grabber tool this little tool here make sure you got that grab the tool grab the clip hit delete then hit return a couple times and do it over and over again so it gets new barrack three test 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 spacebar to stop hit return twice spacebar to play test 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 space test, test 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 spacebar to stop try that a couple times with a bunch of just junk lines 